wow, my brain is so fuzzy about these things. <laughs> uh, at some point, we went to an Ubuntu de Developer Summit or two. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would have been earlier, because it would have been, I was like 2012 or something. Um, yeah, a little fuzzy on that. But like Unity, I think, was a thing or was about to be a th thing. I okay. think it was a thing and it was going to be the default. So it may have been late 2011, because okay. it was going to be the default for 1204, I think. So actually, that was quite a while before that. that but, so that was another, I would say, the Ubuntu Developer Summit in 20, 2011 it was in Orlando. That was another one of those like pivotal moments for me, I think, where like we got invited, Canonical sponsored Elementary to come out to this thing, wow. and like they recognized the value in what we were doing, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. And like we sat in the same room as like the designers working on Ubuntu and the developers working on Ubuntu, and a bunch of the known people and GTK people were there because they got sponsored to come out because mm -hmm. they were building Ubuntu. Like they were building the GNOME stack. GNOME's release cycle was based on the GNOME release cycle. Like Ubuntu's release cycle is based on the GNOME release cycle, and like they worked much, you know, pretty closely together there. Mm -hmm. And so it was really cool to be like in the room there and like talking to all those people and just like meeting all these people again. Um, but yeah, and then I say 20, 2015. So that's when we met a lot of Ubuntu people that were really mm -hmm. pivotal. And like, that's when somebody told us, uh, a developer we respected, told us straight to our face, like, you guys have great ideas. Your code is crap. Like, <laughs> may have been even, may have been even harsher than that. I don't remember. But it was, it was like, it was basically, you guys are great. You make great looking stuff and right, your code right. is terrible. Right. <laughs> and that was that was super pivotal for us because we're like, what? Really? And he was like, you need to have code reviews. You need to oh, have okay. people who understand like object oriented programming and like some basics of programming because that wasn't our background at the time. Like, and that, like, we instituted code reviews. We, like, we really cleaned up. Um, so that was really pivotal too. Mm -hmm. Of like, for a while, we were just throwing whatever. Like, if it worked, it worked and we didn't care yeah, about yeah, the yeah. code quality, right? And, like, there's something nice about that. Like, you can experiment and do whatever. But, like, at, at some point, like, you have to, you know, grow up a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that was pivotal. And then, yeah, 2015, meeting a bunch of the GNOME and GTK people and Flatpak people now. Uh, that was really pivotal. Mm -hmm. And, like, then I think the next pivotal thing was the first Guadec conference I went to. So, in person, I went to 20... Oh, gosh. When was this? Was it, it was 2017. Okay. I'm like I'm literally pulling up my own blog <laughs> because I'm like, I surely I wrote about this, right? Uh, I do the same thing in my video. Someone's like, "Hey, how long have you been using Linux yeah. for?" I don't know. Check check when my last video was. Yeah, we went in 2018, but I feel like we went maybe it was 2018. That seems like more recent. But then I have to remember that was you know what five years ago. But yeah, yeah, it still seems like. Seems like it was a long time ago that we went to this. Anyway, it was it's either that or we went to a different conference or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, I walked in the door mm -hmm. and it was like the registration, you know, like go pick up your badge, whatever. And like, I didn't know anybody there. Mm -hmm. I think I was there before anybody else from elementary was there. So I was kind of like a little nervous. And Matthias, who I believe I saw at in 2015 at the GTK Hackfest, he walked up to me and he goes, hey, how are you doing? How's elementary going? What what's you know, how are you liking the latest GTK three stuff that we've been working on? Like, is that working better for you? How how do you are you, is Granite adapting to some of this stuff? Like, super knowledgeable about what we were doing. Like, mm -hmm. knew who I was. Super inviting. Immediately started a conversation with me and was extremely friendly. And like that, that totally shifted my perception of Gnome forever from them. It was just like, mm -hmm. oh, there's somebody who actually is a really cool person who really cares, who. Like, I can tell, doesn't just care about being like, oh, I'm going to go be friendly, but it's like, no, I want to make sure that what I'm working on, what I'm spending my time working on is actually serving you and your group of people who are doing this thing. And that, like, like I literally just got goosebumps again. Like, it was, that, like, that totally shifted my whole perception of Gnome. And it was, it was literally day one of me being at a Gnome event. And it was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. And then that kind of thing kept happening. Like, I kept meeting the people who were working on the thing. And they're like, oh, you're from elementary. Oh, cool. Like, hey. Like, literally, multiple times, they're like, oh, you're the celebrity on here. I'm like, what? Like, like, yeah, we love what you, we love the work you do. Like, we love your design stuff. And it's like, this oh, wow. is so crazy. Like, that was really cool. That was so cool to see that, like, oh, these people are real people. And these people are, like, super friendly. And they, they care about, they're passionate about the technology and what they do. But, like, they also care about the people behind it. And, like... Mm -hmm. Now, ever since I've gone to several Guadex 
and like that's my favorite part like you get a lot done you get really inspired you see really cool technology but the best part is the people <laughs> like it's so cool it's like my group of friends from around the world that i get to meet up with you know every year like mm -hmm. so that's like that's the coolest part to me and that changed my my i think elementary's perception of gnome of like mm -hmm. and then our our relationship from there was more much more like collaborative mm -hmm. so it was like i started working with gnome design on some things it's like i even though i was doing elementary it was like well we have some design thoughts that we put into this from the elementary side like i'll share i'll share what we think you know to, for gnome and like they would be like oh that's really interesting oh that's really cool and like more and more you saw i think you saw some of that reflected in gnome's design over time of like <laughs> some things got a lot more elementary like over the years and like that's pretty cool that there's that cross pollination and like at the same time you can still have your own open source project that's your own thing it's your baby that's your vision mm -hmm. and you can still work really closely with those these other people and yep. like yep. the people who are building their own vision but they're also building like the stack on which it's all built mm -hmm. like there's so much of gnome that is under the hood of you know ubuntu and elementary os and endless os and I mean, Pop OS and like all these, even if they're not even shipping GNOME, the desktop, like elementary doesn't ship GNOME. We don't even ship the GNOME apps. Like it's, it's, there's like one or two GNOME apps that ship on elementary OS, but, but it uses the GNOME stack. It uses GTK. Right, it uses right. all the libraries. It uses all the, all the investment and time and work that's gone into GNOME. And so it's still like a really important relationship to have. So I think that's like part of the beauty of, of what I, what I discovered actually going to Guadalajara and meeting the people. Um, mm -hmm. It's a lot of cool people.